crisis in Klonkaminkas. Civil war, famine and genocide. About 100,000 people are feeling the effects of famine. Oh my God, it's so awful what's happening in Klonkaminkas right now. People are like dying and there's loads of disease and stuff, so we really must do something to help them. Oh my God, it's it's so awful. We must do something. We must do something to um, to help them. Yes, we must do something. Why is nobody doing anything? Plonkaminkus is doing fine. Dog abortion has been legalised in Switzerland. Plonkaminkus is not doing fine. Don't believe the media. Don't believe what we say. Uh, Dogs cannot actually be aborted. That was just made up. Me personally, I have yet to see any concrete proof that dogs exist. This, this is proof. This is my dog. Look at this shell. Working for the satanic Zionist lizard Nazi people. Uh, This is clearly a fake. Look at the way the dog is moving. You can tell by the shadows that it's not really there. Whether it's possible that it would work. The fools, we shall kill them all. Disturbing footage caught on film as the world enters a new reign of terror. Okay, um, this this footage has clearly been manipulated here. If you look closely at the lizard's shadows, it wasn't even there. Look at the pixels around his head just here. He wasn't even there. Klonka Minkus has been voted the world's nicest place to live. 70,000 citizens have now emigrated to Klonkaminkas. Please, bring my daughter back um, from non-existence <laughs> and her 69,000. 000- 999 friends. A number of grieving family members of the 70,000 people who went missing from existence last week have been subject to harassment from self-described truth seekers. They threw pieces of dog poop at, at my missing daughter's window. She never existed in the first place. They're trying to take our guns. Well, that's an absolute lie. Truth is not illegal, and it never has been. They are covering up the legal status of truth. Attention spans are rapidly falling, according to a new survey, directly contradicting a different survey, which was in actual fact the same survey conducted on the same people. Results show that surveys and polls are up 2%, making them 30% more popular than they were with the under 40s, but 40% more unpopular than they are with the over 30s. 64% of unsurveyed people say they would never take part in a survey, and if they did, they would give false answers to sabotage the results. 